Prince Harry's trapped claims tore into shreds as miserable Duke proud to be unhappy. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's claim that Prince William is trapped within the royal family has been torn to shreds. During his explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey last month, Harry claimed he felt trapped in the firm and could not find a way out. He also alleged his brother and father felt the same way. But now, royal commentator Petronella Wyatt has torn Harry's claims to shreds and said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are almost proud of their unhappiness. In her latest column in The Sun, Ms. Wyatt said, Does a trapped man display the regal bearing and apparent ease of Prince William? Does a duchess who wakes each day to another bout of torment look quite so swan-like? If Kate is unhappy, she should bottle it and make a fortune in the beauty industry. There are only two kinds of royals in this world, the sanguine and the chronically unhappy. The latter, like Harry and the Duke of Windsor before him, kick and squall against their fate. They are almost proud of their unhappiness and consider it to be the only rational attitude for an enlightened person. Then there are those like the Queen and, as is increasingly evident, William and Kate. The expert went on to suggest Prince Harry was miserable. She said, Kate gives William confidence, not only because he adores her optimism and the warmth of the Middleton clan, but because she wants him to be happy, confides another royal insider. Kate, unlike her fractious sister-in-law, has never tried to convince a cheerful William that he is, in fact, miserable. This is not the first time Harry's claims his brother is trapped have been debunked by a royal expert. Last month, Sunday Times royal correspondent Roy Nicka claimed William does not feel trapped within the firm despite Harry's claims. Ms. Nicka said the future king has embraced his future over the last few years and is attempting to shape the institution in a different way. Speaking on royal podcast The Royal Beat, she explained, I was told, that is not how William or his father, particularly William, looks at his role. He does not feel trapped. Yes he has a destiny set out for him and a path but if you look at what he's been doing for the past 10 to 15 years he's sort of grabbing with it and running with it. And he's shaping it in a different kind of way. So I think that comment from Harry my father and my brother are both trapped really didn't go down well. It didn't chime with how William feels and no it didn't go down well. During their bombshell interview with the US media mogul, the couple made several accusations including that they were married in secret by the Archbishop of Canterbury three days before their royal wedding. However, the claim has since been exposed to be fake after the Most Reverend Justin Welby has confirmed the legal wedding was in Windsor on May 19, 2018. In an interview with Italian newspaper La Repubblica, Mr. Welby confirmed the legal wedding was on the Saturday not three days before. Royal biographer Angela Levin also hit out at Meghan over her secret nuptials claim. She tweeted, The Archbishop of Canterbury states firmly that Harry and Meghan were not married three days before the wedding ceremony and that if they had he would have committed a serious criminal offence. How shameful that Meghan had no qualms about drawing him into her fantasies.